Good morning, folks. It's Sunday today, and I'm meeting OPC at Tanamal Junction as per usual. It's been two weeks since I last rode my bike, but uh, in between that, I've been running. So today, I'm gonna test if that helps keep my cycling fitness going. Every cyclist out there, you will know, if you don't ride your bike for anything more than three or four days, to make it worse a week or more, you will know that your cycling fitness is essentially lost over that duration of time. So I've been doing base miles running, distance between 4 to 6 km. And also to top it up, my heart rate strap is working today. So I can essentially test if my cycling fitness is gone by the variability of my heart rate. Did I also mention I'm slightly late? It's about 7.20 now. I have what, 5 km to go? to 10 mile junction where I meet them at 7.30. I left home a little bit late as I was struggling to find my gear simply because I haven't been riding my bike. So goes to show riding a bike little and frequent goes far more than keeping your cycling fitness. In recent news, I made it to the group in time. Maybe I was five minutes late, but thankfully they were waiting up for each other. There were, I think, one other rider who were slightly late as well. I guess things happen. But kind of advice is if you are meeting your group for a ride for the first few times, try to be on time. Well, due to that five minutes that I missed, I probably missed the briefing of the right route as well. But we are now in Neo Tiu Road. So if you come in from Kranji area, entering Yotil essentially just means for the next 15 or 20 km, there is really no second guessing where the route leads. We are probably going down Lim Chukang. We are probably going down Jalan Baro. That's how kind of boring Singapore riding is, or cycling in Singapore per se. But I'm not complaining, it is the companion that matters. I always say this a lot when I visit places, no matter new or old, is whenever the land meets the water, it's usually really beautiful and spectacular. That's uh, not excluding Kranji Dam, even though we often cycle this makeshift bridge a lot. This is Lim Chukang Road, kind of like a mini highway that runs along Tengai Base by the side. Rumor has it, this is kind of a backup makeshift airway strip should the main airstrip fail to allow the fighter jets to land. I suppose this can be a backup and reserve. And uh, as you can tell, I'm so out of breath because everyone just went full gas along New Tio area, just waiting for a regroup. Oh, I spin down along Lim Chukang Road now. I'm so out of breath. Speaking of heart rate, it is still all over the shop. I guess I'm just not conditioned. No matter how much running or outside of cycling exercise that I do to maintain my fitness. Cycling aerobic fitness is probably just a world of its own. Why do not support? The champ! Hello. How do Last week skip? Domingo. This cycle too? Ah, but different. Wow, weather hancho lah. I haven't start this year. I haven't start. Wow, first round of the year. Yeah, but after Chinese New Year lah, maybe get better Second regroup, intermittent one, at the SO after Jalan Baro area. 
I believe if I heard it correctly, we are going to gather at West Coast Market at Ayer Raja for a brunch. So inevitably, this is the junction where you either turn right to go to NUS or go straight to West Coast Market, the shortcut. Excuses. I am allowed to keep only like Jumpa. Super Jumpa, I cannot stop. Did I also mention today I came without my full frame camera since it often gets in the way? I must say it's a lot more liberating without that big ass camera hanging behind me, especially now that I'm getting takeaways doesn't conflict each other, the backpack and the camera. back at the meetup point so uh, incidentally this is also where I part ways with them since the majority of the group stays at Bukit Panjang slash Cha Chukang area so from here on it's just me then and with a slight tailwind I should enjoy a slow spin of the remaining nine kilometers back home good weather clear skies Honestly, nothing beats the feeling of reaching home dry, knowing it's been all sunny throughout the entire ride, and coming home to dark clouds. I did, in fact, see this forecast. It's supposed to come at noon, so gladly, it's only about 11 a.m. now. It's probably building up to that accurate forecast. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for looking out for us. I will catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.